After the surprisingly uncoordinated coordinated assaults by Confederates on both sides, Greene's entire command was panic-stricken. To add to this, Cook ordered his two regiments under his command, the 3rd Arkansas and the 27th North Carolina to take the Federal guns supporting Greene's forces. Then Cook was ordered a forlorn hope against a mass of Federals assaulting Sunken Road. His tiny assault caught the Federals unprepared but floundered soon after they formed up to meet his counterattack. With no help coming and ammunition gone, the Confederates retreated. The 3rd Arkansas Infantry Regiment, also called 3rd Arkansas, is the most celebrated regiment from Arkansas during the Civil War. They were raised in May of 1861 by William H. Tebbs and Van H. Manning. The 3rd was one of the first regiments to sign up for service for the entire war. After forming, they would proceed to Vicksburg to offer their services, but were denied only to be sent to the mountains of West Virginia to see their first combat at Cheat Mountain. The 3rd would go on to take heavy casualties during the Seven Days Battle and were reinforced by survivors of the decimated 2nd Arkansas Infantry Battalion. After the Arkansas Battalion was disbanded, the 3rd Arkansas was the only regiment left in the east from its state. During the Maryland Campaign, the regiment would be under the command of Colonel John R. Cook and was attached to Walker's Brigade under command of Colonel Van H. Manning who was the former colonel of the 3rd Arkansas. They would participate in the siege of Harper's Ferry, but would not see any actual fighting during the battle. After the siege, they had drawn up with the rest of the Confederate Army at Sharpsburg and was stationed south of the town. But soon as the battle started, they were sent north to reinforce Jackson's exhausted lines and were detached from the rest of their brigade to guard some artillery along with the 27th North Carolina. But soon they were called into the fight and charged an isolated federal battery, taking it with ease. However, the area around the sunken lane was heating up. Longstreet ordered Cook to lead his two regiments in a forlorn hope against the right flank of the Federals. His 675 man assault was initially successful, but soon gave way when the veteran federal regiments reformed and sent them retreating, with more than half of his men being shot. Companies A and L were decimated, and the survivors of L were transferred to Company A, reducing the regiment to 10 companies. The third is equipped with the M1842 Springfield musket and the M1853 Enfield rifle with their bayonets. The M1842 Springfield smoothbore musket has two types of ammunition. The medium range large 69 caliber round ball or the powerful short range bucking ball. The M1853 rifle is exceptional at medium and long ranges with its 58 caliber mene ball. The 3rd Arkansas is uniformed quite liberally as they did not stick to any sort of combination. They can be seen wearing brown, gray, and blue shirts with gray and brown pants. Their covers range from brown and black felt hats to brown kepis. They can be seen wearing their straps for their accoutrements. The third carries two flags into battle, the first national confederate flag and a confederate battle flag. Their battle flag has white borders around the flag. In War of Rights, you can find the 3rd Arkansas along with the 27th North Carolina on Cook's counterattack in Roulette Lane as they attack the fleeing Federals by Mama's Farm and catch the unprepared Yankees at Roulette Lane. Now what will you do? Will you catch the Yanks unprepared with a 3rd or will you stand tall and send them back to the West Woods? 